Connect Pinterest to Shopify 2024 How To. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you on how you can connect your Pinterest to your Shopify store in the easiest and most simplest way possible, okay? So, to start things off, what we are gonna be doing is we're simply gonna go over to our Pinterest, okay? So this is your Pinterest, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have an account and you have a business professional account, okay? If you don't have a business account, it makes it quite difficult to connect your Shopify, okay? Because Shopify, obviously, as we know, is a uh, business venture, okay? It's an e-commerce section, it's an e-commerce website, and um, only through that, we're gonna be able to connect these two. To create a Pinterest account, it's quite easy to create a Pinterest business account. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure to add in some business details. And uh, once you've added in those business details from there, what's gonna be happening is you're just gonna make sure that you have a Shopify account as well. Okay, because when you link both of these accounts, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're both fully accessible, they're both live, and they're both working. So. To start things off, obviously we have this over here. Once you have this over here, you're also going to go over to your Shopify. So let me also show you how you're going to quickly go ahead and create and make an accessible Shopify account. So once you're over here on Shopify, you're going to click on start free trial. And uh, once you click on start free trial, what's going to happen from there is it's going to take you into the basic stuff. Okay, and the basic stuff is your account creation. It's going to ask you the necessities of your account, you know, what kind of account you're creating, uh, if you're already selling or if you're just starting. And, uh, you know, you're just going to want to make sure to go through with all of this. So I'm going to go with, I'm already settling online and click on clicking on next. You can go ahead and add all of that. And then once you do that, you're going to click on next. And here it says, where will your business be located? Make sure to choose the region that you have chosen on Pinterest. Okay, don't choose any other region because that will mess with your algorithm. And obviously, we don't want that, do we? Now, there's three basic ways to connect your accounts with Pinterest for Shopify app. So if you have Pinterest for Shopify app, you can install the Pinterest tag in the app. So basically, the three ways are, you're going to connect your account with Pinterest for Shopify app. Okay, so you're going to log into your Shopify account that I'm doing right now. Then you're going to go to the Pinterest app on Shopify's page in the Shopify app store, review the permissions, and obviously click on add app. And then follow the instructions on screen to finish installing the Pinterest app on Shopify. Okay, so here it's going to ask me my email and password. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and add all those things. There we go. And then you're going to click on create Shopify account. Now, once you click on that, it's going to bring you here. Welcome to the best converting checkout on the internet. So I'm just going to wait for it to load me in. And uh, once it loads us in, what's going to happen from there is it's going to give us all the basic uh, necessities that come with building your store. Okay, so just wait for it to load in. And again, as I stated, you're going to go to your Shopify's app store. Okay, and in Shopify's app store, you are simply going to search up Pinterest. Once you search up Pinterest, you can also add manual tags into your code. Okay, and I'm also going to show you those ways as well. Both the ways that I'm telling you are pretty simple and they're pretty slick. But yeah, you're going to want to make sure that these things are manageable and easy for you to do. And again, you're also going to make sure that your account is fully set up that your Pinterest account doesn't have any setups left, doesn't have any management issues left in it. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and add all the necessary details. And once all of that is done, let me show you where you are gonna be taken to. So it brings you here to Shopify's admin where it's gonna load you into the actual store that we are gonna be working with. So here we are. So once you're here, come to apps. Once you go to apps, click on Shopify app store. Once we click on Shopify app store, it's going to load us in to the section that we want to go to, which is obviously the Shopify app store. And once we're into the Shopify app store, let me show you what it's going to be giving us. So this is what we are going to be seeing. So you're going to come over here and you're simply going to search up Pinterest. 
Now, once you search up Pinterest, you're going to click enter. And once you do that, here's your Pinterest app. So you're simply going to go ahead and open it up. And once you open it up, if it gives you this issue that this app is not compatible with your store, simply what you're going to want to do is just change your location because sometimes your location will matter when it comes to working with your store like this. So to change the location of your store, you're obviously going to go into your store details. And once you're into your store details, go to billing info. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to change your location. So let's say I'm going to go with the United States, which is the safest option in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and add certain things that is needed. And once we do that, you're going to save all the things. Once everything is saved, you're going to come here. You're going to reload the store page. Okay. So I'm going to go back here and go on add apps, go to your Shopify app store. Once we come to the Shopify app store, just wait for it to load in. Then you're going to search up Pinterest right again. And once you search up Pinterest, it's going to bring you here and go ahead and install it. And once you install it, that's basically going to load things up. Now, once that is done, it's obviously going to take you into the integration section where it's going to ask you to switch to your Pinterest account, which is obviously your business merger account, this one. Okay, and you're going to want to make sure that all the necessary things that your account has, you're going to want to, you know, complete it, you're going to want to compile it, add it, and, uh, you know, work with it as efficiently as you can. And once that is done, you're also going to want to make sure then you're going to set up your ads account because that is how you're going to generate revenue. Now, the second way that I was telling you is to add a Pinterest tag. And the way you add a Pinterest tag is basically you're going to go to your business hub on Pinterest. You're going to click on view public profile. And once you come here, you're going to basically copy this link. Once you copy this link, you're going to go to online store. Once you go to online store, this is basically the manual coding way where you can add a Pinterest tag into your code. And once you add a Pinterest tag into your code, it automatically integrates your Pinterest with the other services that it's been tagged with. Okay, so let me just wait for this to load in. And once this loads in, what's simply going to happen from there, as I stated, is you're going to get the coding tag to add this in. Now, once you're over here, what you're simply going to be doing is you're going to click on these three buttons and click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, it is going to be bringing you here. Now, once you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your theme liquid that you're going to find over here in your layout. And once you go to your theme liquid, you're going to scroll down until you find your base CSS section. Now, once you're in your base CSS section, you're going to come down here and you're going to paste the URL. So once you paste the URL under your base CSS, you're going to click on save. Okay. And once it says asset saved, that automatically connects your Pinterest with your Shopify because you've manually tagged it. So that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.